My name is Peter Sudovia, as you already mentioned. Uh, I'm a graduate of the National Film and Television Institute, NAFTI. I graduated in 2015 and then started my professional uh, filmmaking career from there. Screenplay is very, very, very necessary. I cannot uh, uh, stress that enough because uh, I there's that saying that a good script is, is like half of the, the story already or half of the film already made. And I started appreciating that more when I started directing or filming. Now, with me, all I need for you to do is to say this script is good. Everything looks good in it. That is it. Because when I go on set, I make sure I achieve what is in the script. And so if the script is good, it means that the film is going to turn out good. I don't go on set trying to do magic and to straighten script and try to... Because the mind is so busy as a director that you're thinking of the artistic, let me say, parts of the whole film, like dealing with crew, cast, and the, the mise-en-scene, the, the, the props, like a lot of things. You even know there are people dedicated to that, but that has also become your burden. Every other person on that set becomes your burden now. So if you're not trying to restructure your film and make it meaningful film, then you're failing. But if the script is good, and people have also seen it, and, 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 and that is why me, when I write scripts, I don't keep it to myself. I make sure more than two people read it, so that I see where the consensus is going. People will punch hole somewhere. I think that people, some people also punch hole somewhere and say, oh, I like. So if I have more than one person saying that this, there's a problem here, I know there's a problem. But when you have a situation where someone says there's a problem, another person praises that problem. Then you're you now in a confusion. So the third person also comes in and says, oh, there seems to be a problem here, but you know, if you straighten it this way, okay, it can be worked out. So by the time the film, the script is, is ready for production. You see that you have a solid script. And once my story is deemed as good, the film is going to come out good uh, because I don't deviate from the script. So that is why I think screenplay is a very important aspect of the filmmaking process. First, um, I try to say, okay, let me build a premise. And that premise building, I do it sometime in the comfort of my bed. Uh, when I wake up, the early mornings, like when I don't have any distractions going on and things like that, I, I get a premise. Okay, this is, I want to make a story about this. And then I said, okay, so if I do a story about this, how do I want it to end? And so I look at the end. You see, before I come to the main thing, this is how I view my writing process. I view my writing process as um, a travel. So when I woke up this morning, I said that I have to go to AUCC. That's where we are having an interview right now. So where do I begin from? I'll begin from my house. And where is my destination, my final destination? It's AUCC. As to how I get to AUCC, it's a different conversation. I can decide to come through Circle, can decide to come through Main Accra. I'll still get to AUCC. So that's how I begin my, my writing process. Where is my story starting from? Okay, starting from a boy who has just lost his, a man who has just lost his job and comes to the house to uh, hear the news of the wife also uh, uh, being pregnant. And then I asked myself, how would this story end? It ends by the, uh, maybe uh, him finding a job or uh, the contract that he's been uh, yearning for for a long time, for which reason he even lost this other job, he finally gets it. And now he's able to take care of the, the family. So now, that's my beginning and then the end. Now how I get there is the drama itself. So my films will rather inspire, give hope, um, give people some aspiration that there are, there, there, there are, there's a brighter side of life and there, there's there's more to look up to than just griefing and be so sad and things. So when I do my film, I make it so light that even when I'm communicating very serious messages to you, I don't push it in your face. You look at the lighter side of it, but then already when you go back home or when you think deep, you realize that, okay, this guy is trying to tell us something. Without making you feel so depressed and so sad before you get the message, but making you feel that there's more to life than just being gloom or being sad. And so that is my idea of giving hope to people and that's why when you see my film you see a lot of comic relief a lot of laughter and things like that but the message is in there that you need to pick
I'll say ideas amount and that you shouldn't be restricted or confined to, to telling a specific, a specific story. Um, just tell the story that you feel you want to tell. And uh, I believe that the world will also adjust. Of course, if you are telling a story that you feel you should tell, it doesn't mean that it should be very unreasonable, no. But the truth is that because people say, oh, we must tell our local indigenous stories, we must tell your central stories, so you also know. If you are not inspired to tell those stories, don't tell it. If you are inspired to tell the story of Azuma Nelson, tell it. Tell the story that you are inspired to tell, and it will come out as organic and a real to life. <laughs>